attention is so scarce these days. Mahirap ang attention na exit. So let us give our gift of attention. So how do we do that? Turn off the cell phone, you know, TV, put down the newspaper, or kung ano man yung binabasa natin, shut down the Facebook for some time, sit down, face your partner, and then hold hands, na? not hold mouth. Not hold the mouth, but hold the hands. No? So magkaharap kayo, and then you talk. Okay, eye to eye. That's one. Pay attention. Second is, try to put yourself in your part partner's shoes. No? Ibig sabihin, the most important thing so far in communication usually are the things that are not spoken. Yung mga, pati anong yung asawa mo na, okay ka lang. Okay lang. So alam mo na na hindi. So take time to, to listen behind the, what is not being said. Especially for men, this is, this does not come naturally for us. No? Uh, we may siguro it is, but for men, medyo dense tayo. Ano? Let's put some effort to do it. And let's put some effort to do it. Another one is acknowledge your uh, partner's feelings. So, ang sabi nila dito is echo back. No? We'll give you an example. Example. So, for why my wife will talk to me. Ah, okay. So, Galina, napagod ka. And uh, sabi mo, masakit ang ulo mo. Napagod ka. So, do you need any help from me? Or something? Okay. So, what, you know what I'm doing, brothers and sisters? Now, I'm not just listening. I'm trying to understand what the other person is saying and I'm repeating it para alam niya na naiintindihan ko. So, to do that echoing, you need to face, to do it face to face and really look the person. Hindi pa rin, hindi mo magawa yan pag may cellphone ka. Ang anigawin na okay. So we do it like that. Another tip is, find out what is most important. Ibig sabihin ito, uh, maybe what she is saying or he is saying is not really what he meant. So kailangan natin magtanong, ano bang ibig mong sabihin? Ano, ano ba yung ibig mong sabihin? What, what is important? Para mas klaro, sabi nga ni Ate Berry kanina, do not play na read my mind. No? Nobody is a fortune teller. We do our best to say what we need. And to ask also. Second is help them determine what they might do. So, di ba? Men. Women loves to solve problems. Given yan sa men, eh. hindi natin nababago yan. But I have a suggestion to me. So kung yung asawa natin may sinasabi sa atin na problema and our instinct is to solve, what if we do it like this? Hindi tayo magbibigay ng advice but we will come up with a solution together. So ang gagawin natin, ano yan yung asawa natin? So ano sa palagay mo ang pwede natin gawin? Bigay siya ng idea. Tapos magbigay ka ng uh, ibang angle na hindi yan nakita. Pero paano naman ito? So what happens now is you are coming up with a solution together. You are not giving the solution directly. That is better. Nakikilig na tayo, nakakamag pa natin ang solution. Okay? So we'll just skip this one. No? We'll make this as a homework kasi medyo mahaba ito. Uh, as a page 12, do it on your marriage time. Okay? Okay, this is the last slide. Uh, after this second to the last slide, we'd like to share with you, we, we'd like to share with you some practical tips. No? Uh, this is some things that we find helpful in our communication. Okay, number one, there is a tale of two brains no, by Mark Conger. Ano tong tale of two brains? There was a study, or study na naman, there was a study made na yung mind model ng men at saka yung mind model ng women magkaiba. Yung men, yung mind namin, may mga cabinets yan, no? Merong cover boxes, may box dyan for work, <laughs> may box dyan for uh, health, may box dyan for sports. Women naman, walang gano'n, no? Intertwined, no? parang spaghetti. 
lahat magkakadikit-dikit. So, being men and women, uh, man and woman, we know na hindi naman natin pwedeng gawing men yung ating wife or women yung ating husband. But what we can do is we tend to understand, ah, okay, kasi man siya, ganyan talaga. Abo man siya, ganyan talaga. So, for example, if you ask a man about sports, ay, hindi pala nag-ask yung wife ng ganyan. No? Saan mo, you ask a man, oh, kamusta ka na? This one, isa na yung sagot niyan, okay naman. <laughs> That's it. Pero for woman, hindi enough yan kasi maraming discussion yung gusto ng wife. But because we know the differences, we can now accept and adjust. Okay, that's the first. Second is we always, let's think of our relationship as an empty box. Because married life is like an empty box. So, paano ba ito? We kami mag-asawa, no? Ito, nung nalaman namin ito, we, we apply it sa amin. So, life, Married life is like an empty box. If you don't put something to it, the time will come that you won't get something from it. So ngayon pa lang, na habang bata pa kami mag-asawa, in that empty box, what do we put? We put love. We put time. We put care, support, prayers for one another. And as much as possible, sana oh, hindi kami naglalagay ng mga negative doon, negative thoughts, feelings, hurts. Kasi once yun lang at yun lang ang na, 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 na ilagay natin doon, hurts. You know, criticisms. Mga negativisms. Time will come when we get old. Anong makukuha namin doon sa box na yun? Yun din ang aanili namin. Kaya, ngayon, or yes now, sa aming pagsasama, we put those good things dito sa empty box. Okay. Sabi nga dito sa, sa mga fairy tale, uh, nagkasawa sila and they live happily ever after. Para it's like, when you're married, you'll be happy. Here the truth is, to be happy in your marriage, two happy people needs to marry. Otherwise, marriage can't do anything. So that's why life is like an empty box. We need to put something in our married life. Third is, use loving non-verbal communication. Uh, my, when I was growing up, my dad is a uh, typical guy na hindi siya, ay na, magbaga sabi niya, ano yan, corny. I never saw then my mom doing something. Siguro, for some guys, uh, for some men, it is really more of a, uh, ganito talaga yung inclination. But brothers, may, let's make this as our act of love. Let's do an experiment. If you're not doing it before, Use loving and verbal communication. Example, maglalakad kayo, then you, you do holding hands or 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 uh, maybe you can do like that. No? So, uh, let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. We would like to express our love to our, to our wife, not just in words, but also in our action. Because for sure, they will appreciate it. Learn to say sorry and apologize. This is something that is... Hard thing, <laughs> Something that's hard to do, especially for me. <laughs> or siguro, no? Sa atin naman lahat, no? It's so hard to say sorry and apologize. But we just need to. We just need to be humble and acknowledge kung tayo man ang may fault. Diba? Kasi wala namang mangyayari masama. But rather, ang effect on is ikabubuti pa ng pagsasama natin. So, and say sorry. And lastly, pray for each other. When you pray for your husband or your wife, this way you think about what is good that will happen to the other person. You know? For example, pinagdadasal ko yung asawa ko. So, syempre, bago ko sa mapagdasal ko, alam, alam ko kung ano yung concern niya. At ano yung kusya nung mga kailangan mo. Hindi kaya, I only wish the best for her kasi I pray for her. And the same thing with her. When he, she prays for me, not only she knows what I need, she also cares for me because I do because it's a habit of praying for the other person the more that we love the other person. So this is very practical. You know? In fact, you don't need to be spiritual to do it. You know? This will help your marriage. Okay? So we'll have this one as our homework. It's on page 13 to 15. At saka iba pang mga pages. 
Okay. We'd like to end our talk this afternoon with a very short encouragement lang ano. When we are talking about this, uh, preparing for the talk, sabi namin, how do we encourage the people or the married couple to improve communication? So, and one thought comes to mind. Diba? Sabi nga sa, sa Proverbs, the journey, alam nyo to, diba? To a thousand miles is one step. It's the first step. So, hindi madali yung communication, lalo na you've been married for 25, 30 years and the habits are already there. Hindi siya madali, it changes. But the journey to a thousand miles start with a single step. And the first step to a strong marriage is communication. So I encourage you, brothers and sisters, please do the homework. Sabi nga, no, you could not learn swimming by reading, no? Hindi ka natututong lula mo by reading or by watching the video or by listening to the talk. Same with the communication, you will never learn it until you do it. And the homework will is the first step to do it. Okay? God bless you, brothers and sisters.